introduce you, Pablo. Yeah. Let me introduce you to the people who are listening in. Perfect. Pablo is uh, is the the owner of uh, the brand Panties for Bitcoin. And uh, we've been working together for two years now, to be honest. I'm, uh, I've been doing some uh, marketing for uh, them and some graphics and things like that. And uh, right now, they are uh, sponsoring the Santorini Halver. I'm sure you've uh, all seen it. And if you haven't seen it, check out. And uh, we're trying to make it a fun event. And of course, we couldn't not have the most fun brand of them all, which is Panties for Bitcoin. And uh, all the women uh, love them completely. And uh, that's what I wanted to say. Pablo, uh, it has a family business. So tell us all about it, Pablo. How did that start? Sure. Uh, well, we are a family originally from uh, Argentina. We moved to Canada in uh, 2008. Uh, we've been, I'm an industrial engineer and uh, we've been manufacturing uh, uh, women and uh, men's underwear um, forever. I mean, uh, since uh, much way before moving to Canada and obviously much way before uh, Bitcoin. Um, so it's a family business. It's my wife, Sylvia, and I have three boys. Uh, the oldest, uh, Michael, It's uh, he's helping us a lot with the shows, with the conferences and uh, with the website. Uh, so we are all bitcoiners it's a family uh, bitcoin uh, business so um, this is about a little bit our, our family um, before uh, knowing about bitcoin uh, or even create uh, panties for bitcoin we already being interested in bitcoin and studying bitcoin and that start for us in 2017 and um, well in I think it was 2021 or 20 end of 21 something like that that we start uh, with the company mm. Mm. awesome so it's been like seven years already right it's been a quite a long time and uh, same as me a lot of people started right after the the pandemic in 2020 or 2021 many people built businesses during that time that's uh, that seems uh, yeah yes yes uh, okay. it took a while uh, before starting the business uh, we had it in our minds uh, before obviously start uh, like a year or two years before uh, mm. so but I, I always had it in my mind and uh, it's just that I had to wait to the right moment uh, from any point of view uh, personal and uh, financial and but I, I, I was not waiting uh, the market or or the Bitcoin uh, value to to start it just uh, was a personal and financial situation that made me delay a little bit the starting point of the of the company but um, but we never hesitate and uh, we are still 100% confident uh, on the bitcoin future for sure building in the bear market so basically that's it building in the bear market not waiting for the hype because then you're positioned to to ride the wave of the bull market right of the excitement yes i mean that's uh, uh, one uh, take away from all this yes mm. yes i mean when you get into uh, bitcoin uh, companies or bitcoin uh, investments or whatever you want to call it i mean you know that uh, we are early uh, we are very early so mm gonna be a lot of a lot of ups and downs and uh, back and forth but uh, new technical uh, ev evolvements and the evolution uh, new tools new technologies that 
it's uh, being created. Uh, so it's early and uh, you have to know that it's going to take some time for this uh, field to build up and become more stable. Hmm. I want to ask you something that Flo said somewhere, because um, if people don't know, Flo is also the the public uh, face <laughs> of your company right now. Um, yeah. She mentioned something very nice that you you were into the intimate uh, apparel business uh, and uh, you never considered doing anything else. You you immediately said, "Oh, we're gonna make a Bitcoin business, a Bitcoin brand, and we're gonna work on what we know." Right? Something like that. Let's, yes. Uh, let's talk about that. It's, Yes, yes. I mean, uh, and especially when we start this, the um, Bitcoin payments, uh, Lightning Network was not there uh, fully in full operation. So uh, the mentality of the people was mainly hodl and not spending, which the narrative today is a little bit different because many people think, uh, okay, it's, uh, it's spend and replace, spend and replace. So the um, the um, at the beginning, I mean, it, it was mainly uh, are you if you were in Bitcoin, were on the financial or in the technological part? Let's say building up hardware for nodes, for uh, hard wallets, or a coding. Uh, Unfortunately, none of that is my expertise. I'm not a coder. I'm not a software engineer. I'm not a hardware manufacturer. And uh, I don't have any financial institution or exchange that I can operate. So that's not my expertise. Mm. So what we knew and what we know is to, to manufacture panties. I mean, underwear for women. And uh, I just wanted to connect. And I think at the end, everybody's going to connect what they are doing, their expertise, and they're going to put the layer on top of that, or, or that it's going to connect with the Bitcoin. Uh, at that moment, was very popular and very famous that guy that paid uh, the two pizzas with 10,000 Bitcoins, and the, they call it the pizzas for Bitcoin. So I thought to yeah. myself, okay, this guy is pizzas for Bitcoin. Okay, I'm going to be panties for Bitcoin. Uh, and that's uh, that's who that's it. First, I mean, who, uh, who was the first who bought panties? Who was the first customer who bought panties? Can we well, say uh, is he uh, is he anonymous or can we say? Do we remember? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, 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 I remember. It. It's uh, it's a guy called uh, Will. I think he he DM us before buying because uh, you know, I mean, nobody knows you. Nobody knows if you're a scam or what is your company. And uh, he yeah. DM us before buying, and uh, and he bought. Uh, finally, he bought. We sent a letter. You are customer number one. Uh, we were very happy that day. Imagine that you you don't know. You you just start a new business, and you have no idea if you are crazy or if this is the right uh, way to go. And yeah. uh, to connect really panties or the underwear business or lingerie with Bitcoin. I mean, if there is anything more difficult than that, just let me know because I don't know anything <laughs> more complicated to connect these two very different worlds. And of course, at the beginning, it looked uh, very uh, strange or retarded or... But uh, along the way, we've been seeing a lot of companies getting into bitcoin from any kind of fields i mean plumbers electricians electricians uh, hairdressers whatever uh, at the end bitcoin is going to be everywhere um, so mm. it was a question of uh, timing i mean we've been early and i think still early but uh, the feedback the first conference that we attend was um, in Miami, we already had some feedback from our meetups here in Montreal. So we knew that people liked the idea and they said, oh, what a nice marketing idea. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we said the big uh, test uh, for us was the show in Miami, uh, Bitcoin, I think it was 2022, that we start uh, mm. showing to the big people, let's say the big uh, audience uh, or products at the idea and the feedback and the response was amazing that gave us the, the, the answer that we were looking for. And uh, so that uh, gave us the strength and the courage to continue. 
even even I mean any business is difficult in Bitcoin or without Bitcoin uh, to build up a of new course. company, a new okay. brand. And in a, in a competition world as we live today, it's difficult. Uh, forget about Bitcoin, even in the fiat world, everywhere. Uh, you are competing with big names, with people that are established on the market for so many years. But we believe in the, in the Bitcoin community. We had a, an amazing support, like people like you and many other people that helped us uh, from day one. Uh, so... I think there is a lot of uh, opportunities uh, on the Bitcoin uh, field because it's too early and because most of the people that doesn't even know what Bitcoin is. So meaning there is a lot of opportunities in in many fields related to Bitcoin, not only in retail or, or merchandise. You have a lot of opportunities in education, in payment processors, in uh, software, coding, hard wallets, uh, hot wallets, uh, lightning network wallets. It, it's plenty of opportunities. I mean, the future is bright. There is no way back on the Bitcoin. Uh, it's already here and it's not going anywhere. Um, so it's a question that if you see it, so get into and try to do something that connect Bitcoin with your expertise. expertise. It doesn't matter what, what your expertise, expertise is. Yes, yes, yes. I, yes, I completely that's... agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember on Twitter there was a guy, he was a lawyer, and he was asking, oh, I can't code. How do I get into Bitcoin? How do I help people? Uh, how do I help Bitcoin uh, space and advance this whole thing? And I wrote him, man, you're, you're a lawyer. We need you. We need your expertise. We need the overlap of your local law knowledge, whatever you are, plus Bitcoin. This is a problem. We don't need you to learn to code. <laughs> we need you to figure out the 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 law stuff, right? Uh, so everybody who has an expertise, you're the best example. You're the best example. You you know how to do intimate app URL. You did it on a Bitcoin business, and you have massive massive support from the community. I want to ask Flo right now. She, uh, it was so funny. She, uh, Aflo is a bit shy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if uh, that uh, shows with uh, the whole, um, uh, with the whole uh, things, all about the things that we're doing with the, this whole exposure, this massive amount of exposure that we're doing. But she's a bit shy in person. I want her to tell us what was the result of her wearing a panties for Bitcoin t-shirt with a brand during a conference. How was that? Yeah, it's true. I am, I'm shy. Uh, Livy is not shy, but I am though. Um, it was very, very fun, to be honest. I was wearing, uh, wearing a panties for Bitcoin shirt and bags and stuff in Amsterdam last year and also in Lugano. And even even when people didn't know the brand because it's it's really powerful like people really know it like they recognize it oh panties i've seen that uh, i know the product or i'm i'm a customer or whatever but even when people didn't know about it they it, it really catched the, their eye it was like panties for nick and what is that like what does this mean like they don't they are I, I could see through their eyes like trying to remember which meme i was wearing and they didn't know and it was so fun to start talking about um, uh, Pablo and Silvia's project and, and talking to them like this is a brand, this is a family company. They make they are making very high quality products and talking just about it. And it, it, it was like a, a conversation starter like everywhere. <laughs> it was really something else. So there you have it. If you're shy and if you want to have a chance for a conversation, you can just put on a T-shirt that has the panties for Bitcoin brand. That's a quite easy way to to get the, the conversation started. Uh, okay, Flo, tell us also about your experience with the product. All right, you've gotten, you've received your uh, panties. You have uh, quite a few, actually. Tell us about it. Yes. Yes, um, it's it's super nice to wear. It's uh, you can feel the quality. They are super soft, and what I love about this is um, I really love working with brands that I like, and because I'm not very good at uh, lying, 
So uh, I can be honest about it and I can tell you that the quality is one of the main concerns of the brand. Um, I would say it's it's something that, that it's really Bitcoiner about them. Like they're not uh, going to they're not going to lower the quality just to get uh, something done, you know. Um, mm. And what I also love is uh, now that I've uh, that I've started working like directly with panties is uh, to to get to see the comments of people that are using this product and with a with a new product the the boxers for men it's really impressive like the the reviews are so good uh, I haven't ever uh, heard anything bad about them and i think that this is a very open company like if you want uh, there is so much uh, energy to improve but we don't receive uh, any any bad things you know or, or not like bad like uh, but the reviews are so nice and and people are loving the quality and that's all it is about like it's funny it, it has it all it's funny it's interesting they know about Bitcoin. You can talk about Bitcoin all day. And also the product is like the top of, of uh, what you can get. Hmm. That's wonderful. Let's mention where you can get this these panties and the new boxers line, the P4B boxers line. Let's say, where can you get this? Like, Let's say I want to buy this. Where can I find it right now, Pablo? You should go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, or, or Flo, yeah, tell me. It's okay, Flo, you, you can go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should go to pantiesforbitcoin.com and you can find every product there. Um, every time a new product gets uh, launched, it will be there, but also you can communicate directly uh, through uh, the Twitter account because everyone is, like, they're paying attention every uh every day you know like you, you want your dm will be answered as pablo mentioned in mm. this first story and you should also use levy's uh, discount code <laughs> love is bitcoin yes yes we have a discount code uh, love is bitcoin of course it's it was one of our first i think well if if one of our top uh, one of our first that we had because we had an ongoing uh, partnership uh, with uh, panties for Bitcoin, but I also want to ask: Can I pay in Bitcoin? That's quite an important question, right? Yes, uh, this is a very important uh, point and question. Um, yes, absolutely, you can pay with Bitcoin, and when you pay with Bitcoin, you have a an ten percent discount uh, because you pay with Bitcoin. Uh, but I will say, I mean, we call it yes discount if you pay with uh, Bitcoin, but we should call. You pay a surcharge or an extra if you pay with fiat. Uh, yeah. the, the reason, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we we want to promote the use of the Bitcoin and the what they call the circular economy or somebody, some people call the parallel economy or whatever you want to call it. But uh, when you make a decision to spend money, doesn't matter if it's fiat or Bitcoin or whatever you want to spend. I mean, you already made a decision to spend. From that moment, I mean, if you spend fiat or Bitcoin, it's the same. But if you spend Bitcoin at the discount and you replace that Bitcoin, they, then it's an advantage mm. for the consumer. So, and on that point, I also should tell and say that when you sell to the Bitcoin community, uh, because we have that mentality of the low time preference and we, we love quality and uh, we don't like disposable products that you buy and you, you take to the garbage the day after or, or you wash it and uh, you destroy the garment or whatever. We do the maximum possible quality that you can make. Mm -hmm. I don't expect anything else from any other Bitcoin product. Uh, that's Bitcoin mentality, right? I mean, we, we don't want a world that you buy things that you don't need and you use it and you throw it to the garbage. We want quality. We want products that is going to stay and last for a long time, the, the maximum possible. And that's what we do. I mean, uh, it's the mentality and it's the philosophy of the company. And I, I think it's if every Bitcoin company should be the same. 
that that's exactly what I love uh, about uh, you and your brand that you are an embodiment of the Bitcoin ethos. It's a family brand. Uh, you're putting your skills, your uh, wisdom into it. You're offering a quality product. It is universally liked around the world. Uh, we have thousands of followers who know about it and who are uh, uh, familiar with the brand, if not being a customer. And that is what Bitcoin businesses should be about. Yes, offering quality products and services and uh, looking towards the future and creating a family legacy. This is, this yeah. is going to be a dynasty, I can, I can tell from now. Now, I want yes. to also ask you, where can people find it in person? Because, um, okay, you don't have a physical store, you have an e-shop, e sh okay? But some people might want to touch it, you know, women, they want to feel the texture, uh, stuff like that. Where can they find it in person, perhaps, to buy? Well, we, we attend as many conferences as we can and meetups here and there and people that represent us. Uh, I think uh, we're probably going to have it at the merch store at uh, Madeira Island, the next conference in, uh, in uh, March. And we're going to be in Nashville, in Boston, in Los Angeles, in uh, Montreal. It's going to be a Canadian conference, uh, a Bitcoin conference yeah. in Montreal. And w mainly in those places, we're going to have probably a table or a booth and a stall, and uh, we will sell it over there. But mainly our, our uh, sales are, are uh, through the website uh, online. Uh, so far, we didn't have any return, not just, not even one. Uh, so, quality is there, and uh, I'm not that worried much. I don't think we're going to be in any physical store in the short term. We'll see in the future what it's going to be. Now, it's uh, it's going to be, uh, I think, in the um, Orange Peel application, it's going to be a, a section for merchants. Uh, so, we'll see. We'll see how it's going to be evolving. Uh, my guess is, on the near future, a lot of businesses they're going to adopt and they're going to uh, let customers pay with Bitcoin. Maybe not because they like Bitcoin. It's just because of term for, of competition. I mean, uh, if you don't get into that, you're going to lose customers because customers, it, it, they want to pay in Bitcoin. They want to use the Lightning Networks. They like it. So if you don't do it, your competitor is going to do it. So mm. sooner or later, it's going to be adopted, widely adopted. At least it's what we expect. Yeah, it's, it's like the credit card. There's a very old video of uh, people uh, talking about the credit cards in uh, the U.S. And people uh, were against it. And we, we all know how much uh, people love their credit cards, right? So it's crazy to see their reactions in a, in a TV segment of people uh, saying, oh, I don't need uh, to pay with credit cards at my store and whatnot. It's crazy how adoption begins. And of course, I truly believe in the network effect of Bitcoin. At some point, we will have people demanding to pay in Bitcoin. Just right, right now, people are demanding that you accept their Visa or their MasterCard or their credit card. I agree. Yeah. Let's recap that because that's quite important. So people can find you at, uh, I think those are in, uh, in uh, proper order, in Bitcoin Atlantis, in Madeira. They will be available yep. at the shop, right? The pants yep. for Bitcoin. Also boxers, yep. I'm, I'm hoping, right? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Panties and yes. boxers for Bitcoin. You will yes. be in person with your booth at Nashville, right? Yeah, we will be before mm -hmm. that. It's going to be what they call a freedom festival in uh, in Boston. Then it's going to be the Canadian Bitcoin conference in Montreal. Then is Nashville, and then is uh, Pacific uh, Bitcoin conference. We will attend all those. Uh, we love to be on the conferences. Honestly, I mean, it's, if we would be able to afford, we will go to all of them. Uh, probably Orgoz is going to be in Prague as well. I'm not sure yet, but uh, for us to attend the conferences uh, is fantastic. I mean, we love to meet other Bitcoiners, to talk with Bitcoiners. We talk about politics. Uh, we talk about everything. 
And uh, yes, I, I agree with you. It's, this is going to be an evolution of the use of the Bitcoin. It's still, again, too early. And the people is going to use it not because they understand coding or because they understand how the, 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 the financial world works. It's just because it's going to be convenient. Because if you don't pay with Bitcoin, you're going to pay an, a surcharge because people doesn't, um, it's not going to, they don't, uh, they will not uh, accept or they will charge you more if you pay with fiat because they don't want it. Because Bitcoin, you don't have to pay the fees of the of the of the credit card companies of the, or the banks, and uh, and not only that. I mean, you get the payment from the credit cards or the banks just uh, four, five, or a week later than when you get the Bitcoin instantly. And obviously, um, don't trust Verify. It's on the Bitcoin uh, uh, chain, so it's secure. It's fast. And it's Bitcoin, so I, I don't see how you be you're gonna be able to stop that. As we always uh, said, Bitcoin Bitcoin is unstoppable. I agree. I agree. And uh, yeah, you have a little bit of experience uh, with uh, hyper uh, hyperinflation. Absolutely. And, uh, so you understand what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I born in Argentina. I I been through most of my life uh, in uh, hyperinflation, uh, dictatorships, uh, wars, uh, missing people. I, I've seen I've seen it all. So uh, yes, uh, hyperinflation is still uh, a problem in Argentina. Hopefully, they're going to be able to solve it now with a new government. We'll see. Time will tell. But uh, Bitcoin fixes this absolutely. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, so it, it makes perfect sense. You've you've witnessed all these things. You've lived through them, and it makes perfect sense for you, right? Yes, yes. I would say we were Bitcoiners before Bitcoin exists. Yes, yes. We were looking all <laughs> our lives for something more stable and practical, and with all the properties that we know Bitcoin has and permissionless, borderless, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've been living in Argentina with uh, controls and uh, restrictions uh, all the time. Banks restrict the bank took all our money from overnight, so we understand and we le live. Through, I mean, the the money that it's in the bank, it's not your money, and it's not in the bank. So that it's very clear for us. I mean, exactly. uh, so the, um, uh, the I mean, not not your keys, not your coins. It's very clear for us. We understood that before even Bitcoin exists. Uh, we know that mm -hmm. the money that it's on the bank uh, could uh, can disappear overnight. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's always that uh, that article, that argument, the financial privilege, check your financial privilege. Always, always the people who are against Bitcoin, uh, then they scoff at it. It's usually from a place of financial privilege who haven't seen their country uh, go through these problems and haven't seen their financial system uh, go crazy like so. And it's it's also crazy for me in Greece. I'm in Greece, by the way. Uh, just for whoever doesn't know about it. And we went through the crisis in uh, 2008 and uh, 2009. And uh, it's crazy that we have people who have lived through the capital controls and the, and the basically the collapse of the, of the banking system and still don't get Bitcoin. Some people immediately get it, yeah, of course. But it's crazy that some people, even having lived through that, they still have trust in the banking system that their money is there and they say, okay, yeah, we, this is not legal or whatever, whatever FUD they want to, um, they want to believe about Bitcoin. It, is, it yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But don't forget there is a strong, uh, uh narrative and, uh, propaganda from the mainstream media that, uh, they want uh, people to believe that, but it, that is going to change as soon as they. It's going to be convenient for them. They will change the narrative. Now it's going to be good. It's for everybody. It's practical. It's fast. It's secure. It's coming. It's coming. It's just that they they need to position themselves on that uh, privilege again. So they are trying to see how 
they're going to control and how they're going to be part of this new financial system. We're seeing, we're seeing that with the ETFs, right? It's crazy. The people are running multi-million dollar ads on serious channels, on serious publications, uh, Wall Street Journal, whatever, I don't know. And they're talking about the ETFs and they are starting to say, oh yeah, Bitcoin is a great investment and things like that. So it is crazy to see this as a Bitcoiner. Course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people that years ago were talking exactly the opposite. <laughs> the, the very same, the very same. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, crazy. By the way, we, we did uh, an ETF uh, video with uh, Flo. And uh, what was the conclusion, Flo, from all this? Don't buy the ETF. Please <laughs> 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 buy the ETF. <laughs> 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 Just buy Bitcoin directly, yeah, because it's paper Bitcoin. That was what Flo said. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about something else. Let's go back to the Santorini halving party. I just want to ask a specific thing. I happened to chat with uh, Mir Peloni, and uh, she's uh, she's gonna be a speaker on uh, in uh, Santorini. And, uh, of course, she knows about uh, panties for Bitcoin, and she never got any. Uh, will we have a package for her so that we can uh, give uh, give the package to her and so she can try out uh, your wonderful product? I hope so. I hope so. That's, uh, we're going to do our best to make sure she gets one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, we have decided about uh, do also doing a sort of a giveaway to some of the attendees. Okay. Not for... Uh, not for everyone, but uh, maybe a few. Um, are we going to do that, uh, Pablo? Are you, how, how, do you, how do you plan to do that? What do you want us to do? Yes, yes. It's going to be a lot of surprises. I mean, uh, we don't want to spoil it. And uh, for sure, I'm, uh, not only us, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that you're going to have uh, a lot of uh, surprises and giveaways for the people that uh, attend the, uh, the Santorini halving party. Mm. Okay. We are, yes, yes. We are going to have a few, a few panties to give away. We will probably do some sort of... Uh, a lottery or people who win the halving games, I'm not sure. We'll decide on that. Um, will you send us both uh, panties and boxers or just panties? I think we're going to send you both uh, panties and boxers. Yes. Yes. Don't forget to, to organize... Them, yeah. uh, don't forget to organize that uh, boat accidents. That's very important. I'm sure a lot of people is going to lose their hard wallets. We we do have we do have boating accident planned, and uh, yeah, people are gonna are gonna lose their uh, are their Bitcoin. That's that's for sure. It's gonna be tragic. Yeah, that's crazy. Yes. Um, Don't okay. forget to so, yeah. I, yeah, give a certificate to everybody that uh, lost, uh, is going to lose the uh, hard wallet, uh, an official certificate stating that they lost uh, at that date, at that hour, in that boat accident, they lost the hard wallet. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think, I, I think I saw some card that says uh, Bitcoin uh, Boating Club, something like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's another meme going around. We might need to join that, yes joining the Bitcoin Boating Accident Club. We need, we need to try that out. Um, yes, yes. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, we're going to give the panties and boxers. We're going to give away some of them. So they will be there. We won't have them for sale, unfortunately. So we are just going to give a few away. And... Um, as, uh, as we said, uh, if you want to buy in person, the Panties for Bitcoin is going to be pretty much everywhere from what we're telling me. Freedom Festival, Bitcoin Atlantis, Nashville, which is the crazy, the big one from Bitcoin Magazine, the Canadian uh, Conference, the Pacific Bitcoin, you're, you'll also be in uh, Santorini, 
and uh, that's pretty much uh, that pretty much covers uh, the entire year right that's uh, that's a crazy amount of um, of uh, organization basically yes yes we're going to try to again uh, we are missing a couple of the of the ones that you you mentioned i mean maybe prague maybe other ones but we're going to try to be right. in, in as many as as we can well, well look uh, i'm sure that people will be able to follow George, we lost you there. Yep. No, we, we last part uh, we lost you, George. Now? Yeah, now go we... ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that people can follow your account on Twitter and on Instagram, and they can see the announcements of yes. uh, where you're gonna be, right? Closer to yes. the date, closer to yes. the conference. That's mm -hmm. quite important. Uh, because yes, I I know that people want to they can just buy online, but yes, sometimes I'm sure that people want to feel the texture, they want to feel the quality, and get to meet you and the, get to know you, right? Especially wherever you have the the booths and wherever you're gonna be in person. So yeah, yeah you're gonna make announcements for that. I I think Flo will uh, handle that, right? Yep, correct. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Uh, what else uh, do you want to talk about? Oh, I also wanted to say that uh, both um, there are uh, the 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 there's sats back, right? There's something. There's a sort of a prize when I buy on your store. How does that work? Yes, there is a partnership with a company called uh, Jolts that they um, every time you make uh, buying in our website, you can have uh, 3% back in SATs directly to you. That it's uh, permanent regardless any other offer, uh, regardless any other discount, same as uh, paying with Bitcoin is always 10% uh, discount, no matter what. Uh, uh, if, if you have other discounts or whatever, the, the paying Bitcoin and the Sats back uh, are always there. And um, yeah, that's it's a feature on our website, a permanent feature. Yes, that's awesome. So you, I can, I can just shop. I can buy for myself and for my girlfriend. And uh, I'm also gonna get Sats back, even if I pay in fiat, even if I pay with my credit card, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes, mm, that's a that's a wonderful feature. It's worth mentioning. Uh, Flo, do you want to tell us uh, something more about uh, Banties, about your experience? No, nothing. Just that I really, really love them. I, I love the attitude. I love the brand. And I'll be in in Madeira, in as you know, in Bitcoin Atlantis. So I'll I'll be there with uh, trying to to uh, make awareness about this brand, even though it's everyone knows it already. But uh, yeah, so you'll be able to to touch it, as you said, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that I get to work with such a great company. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will hope to see you posting up at Madeira and having fun and uh, going around the art gallery and the, the shop. Uh, is there going to be... We lost you, George. We just lost uh, the last question you were going to ask, I think. <laughs> oh. Well, but yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun there in, in Madeira. And as, as every conference is, uh, it's, it's just a great experience to know Bitcoiners in person, to talk to them directly. So I'll be there. I'll try to hang at the store as much as they allow me to, because I don't know if it's allowed. And I'll try to to just go there and try the products and and touch them and uh, see what the, what is there to um, for you to to know and 
and I think uh, it's it's going to be a great experience. And this year is going to be particularly special. Um, uh, um, let me uh, allow George to talk because there you go. <laughs> we have you back, George. I think it's connecting. Yeah, no, I think uh, he's out. No, no. No, okay. Now it's in. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, I was disconnected, yes. It's okay, you don't have to wait for me, you can just talk. That's great. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see you having fun, we'll uh, follow your journey on uh, social media, Flo. Uh, I also wanted to say something, uh, because I've been working with Pablo for two years now, I wanted to say that I, uh, people might not know this, he's very careful about the quality and the work he puts into the product. The, even the orange color needs to have a specific dye, and you, we all know, know that physical uh, colors are sometimes way off. So he, he did tests on getting the exact hue of the orange color right tell us about that pablo yes correct it's the orange color that uh, we all bitcoiners use and uh, we want to we wanted to re replicate that color on our garments and that's uh, what we did i mean it's uh, yes it's the bitcoin orange color and uh, it's a favorite color for all bitcoiners uh, we all want uh, orange uh, garments or orange uh, things so that's one of the colors. Uh, we have the basic colors, the black and white, and the orange, which is basic for us too. Yeah, yeah, and he and he's very careful about um, with the new products that he ships. I know that the boxers were uh, in development basically for quite a lot of time. I helped out a bit with uh, with the logo as well, the P four B. And uh, I don't know if, we, if we're going to have new products coming out, but they, they come out with low time preference. They come out slowly with um, being careful and uh, making sure that the quality is there. And uh, they're always very precise with uh, what they give to the customers. It's not, uh, it's not uh, oh, this is uh, right now, it's... Um, it's in fashion, let's uh, create a product just to ride the wave. No, you, you create the, the fashion, basically. You create the trend, right? Yes, correct. Uh, when we start uh, this project, uh, we thought about making basic items, everyday uh, items. Uh, we don't uh, believe that in the future, let's say in the, in the Bitcoin uh, uh, monetary system or uh, hyper bitcoinization economy M women in the future is going to have room for i don't know 30 different colors or styles of panties you're going to have to to have or you want to have one two three that is going to be your style everyday style and it's going to last forever and it's good quality good fit and that's it but there is no room in the future that you can have a drawer uh, with i don't know how many different styles of panties or color just to use once every six months uh, so we did we create a basic line not too many items not too many articles intentionally so we'll see we're gonna be doing more styles but slowly and uh, not uh, big uh, collections or uh, just a few and basic uh, new styles it's going to be launching during the year, yes. Oh, nice. So we will have new announcements. So, yeah, hopefully we will get to see them and we will, of course, uh, help you get the word out. Now, uh, let's uh, wrap this up. But I want to ask a question to, to both of you. Uh, because this is a very different um, point of view. So I'm very curious about uh, the answers to this. Here's a question. Have panties helped orange pill uh, ladies in this space? 
Cool. Flow. Answer first. Flow. You want me to answer? I think I think they do because uh, not not just because of the work uh, that it's been done in marketing online, but also uh, the product itself. I think it's like a nice gift that sometimes, especially when when people go to conferences, they want to bring gifts uh, back home. So I can see that not many wives may may want to go to this conference if they are not like deep into Bitcoin, but I can see that they they might uh, it it might raise their interest if if the gift back is something like so fun and different and unexpected, like uh, panties for Bitcoin. So mm. um, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go with yes. Or uh, panties for Bitcoin are orange peeling, ladies. There you have it. There you have it. Uh, Pablo, what have you seen? Because obviously you've been in this business and you, you listen to all the comments and people talking. Yes. What have you seen? Exactly what Flo said. It's uh, absolutely correct. I mean, on the shows, we saw people, mainly uh, men, buying from their uh, girlfriend or their wife or their daughter to bring something like a souvenir from the conferences and they they couldn't find uh, anything more accurate than a, a underwear that is good quality etc etc so they brought home that type of things and at least they bring up interest in their uh, partners about oh what is this how come and it's a good quality and this and that and uh, it's a door opener i mean uh, it could be a good orange uh, peeling starting point yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure. I, I can see, I can see how that works. I've, uh, you've sent me some samples, uh, Pablo, and I've, I've given them uh, to all of the team members here, my business partner, and uh, they all, they all love it. So yeah, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> if you wanna orange pill some lady, your girlfriend, your wife, uh, whoever, even if uh, it's uh, someone else. You can use, you can try giving her panties for Bitcoin. You can grab them at uh, online at panties4bitcoin.com. And you can find them at all these conferences that we mentioned, the Freedom Festival, Bitcoin Atlantis, Nashville, the Canadian uh, Bitcoin Festival, Pacific Bitcoin, and at the Santorini Halving Party which we won't have them for sale, but you might be able to, to win a pair there and bring it back. And uh, yeah, yeah, you should keep that in mind. It's the perfect orange peeling tool. It's um, the, the brand is a great um, conversation starter with the t-shirts, the tote bags and uh, all these things. And I, I, think, I think that it's making Bitcoin fun. <laughs> and uh, not in the other kind of way with the ordinals and the wizards thing, but with actual products that are a low time preference and they're quality products. That's that's what I see. I speak from the heart. It's not just because uh, Pablo is here. I would have said this even if he wasn't listening right now. Right. Thank you. OK. OK. Awesome. Uh, Pablo, do you want to tell us uh, something so that uh, we can close up? What else uh, about your um, your brand, the future? What do you have just, in mind? Just thank you for having us. And uh, my message to all Bitcoiners, it's always the same. Keep building. Uh, there is no way back. Uh, there is a bright future ahead of us. Uh, just focus on building, learning, studying. Uh, try to save or hodl as much as you can. Uh, try to get paid in Bitcoin if, if there is any chance for you to do so. And if you're not, uh, just save as much as possible in Bitcoin. Uh, use your Bitcoins. Uh, buy from Bitcoiners, uh, coffee, art, uh, garments, whatever. Bitcoiners is going to keep your sats insats they are not going to the fiat system so just uh, keep uh, hoping don't lose your faith everything is going to be fine 
it's too early and uh, there is a, a lot a lot of project people amazing people capable people uh, building up uh, a lot of new uh, tools to make bitcoin more user friendly and um, the future is bright uh, just uh, keep building working hard and believe that's it that's my my message nine nice words of wisdom and lovely words and i think we can uh, we can end there uh, yeah yeah the future is bright when you are on a bitcoin standard when you earn money in bitcoin when you're hanging out with bitcoiners when you support bitcoin businesses bitcoin artists it's a it's a crazy it's crazy it, it's a whole different thing it's a whole different way of life uh, look, and the, uh, i yeah. hope we get people to experience that yeah, yeah, one of the best things we have uh, in Bitcoin, regardless all the attributes that we know about Bitcoin, especially the people that here uh, we are in, on the field for a long time and we know all the permissionless, uh, censorship resistant, and uh, borderless, and all all the attributes. It's the people, the people. When you met and you meet the people and the conferences. Uh, in person and you talk with them and you realize how many things we have in common and and we share the same principles in, in many many aspects of life and not only economical or financial so the, the community that we have it's amazing amazing i mean regardless uh, differences that we have uh, or we can have in other in other fields but so that's why we are very uh, positive and believers in the future of Bitcoin. It's because of the people that is in Bitcoin. That's the, the I think, the most uh, important uh, value that we all have. And more and more people is realizing that. So, yes, the future is bright. The future is orange and the future is Bitcoin. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. That was the best closing ever. Okay. That was wonderful. Uh, see you guys around and we will talk again, hopefully in another space sometime soon. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Bye-bye so for me.